Special thanks to the sponsor of this Halloween episode of Print and Play, PCBWay. More on them later in the video. Last year, we didn't get to celebrate Halloween, and this year my wife and I were racking our brains on how to make it special. One night a week or two ago, we were playing Minecraft when Kay turned a pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern. I immediately said, oh, we should do a Minecraft jack-o'-lantern for our pumpkin this year. I can 3D print it. And she thought that was a great idea. So I modeled it in Fusion 360 and printed it off. But as the print completed, it just didn't feel like enough. So, as I often do, I got a little carried away. At first, I started off pretty simple. I designed torches that I could use to line our driveway and decided to use battery-operated tea lights to light them. Then I decided I'd model a skeleton. I wanted him to be pretty big, so I designed him to print in parts that snap together, making him about two feet tall. As I looked at the outside of our house to decide what else I could add, I immediately thought it would be cool to have our porch lights light up diamond blocks, so I designed those too. Of course, you have to have some place to put the candy, so I also recreated the iconic chest for Minecraft as well. Finally, I thought we were about done, but then Kay said, as we were exploring a mineshaft in game, it would be awesome if we could have some spiders and web as well, and I figured, why not? So I had a bunch of designs and not a lot of time to get them printed, and it was time to get my printers busy. Of course, if you don't have a 3D printer, you could always use the services of today's sponsor, PCBWay. If you've been around the channel in the past few months, you've definitely heard me talk about PCBWay. They offer PCB fabrication services for both simple and complex boards. You get to decide the thickness of the boards, how many layers you'll need, and you can even set the color of the board. Many orders are just $5 plus shipping, and if you're a first-time customer, you get $5 off, making your first order free. In addition to PCB services, they now offer CNC and 3D printing services as well. So, if you want to print any of the models from today's video, and you don't have access to a printer, you can get them to print them in a material and color that you like. Check out PCBWay by following the link in the description. And now, it's time for some printing and assembling montage action.
Overall, I'm thrilled with how everything came out, and we're already talking about expanding upon it for next year. I'd like to add a full-size creeper with flashing lights and a motion sensor that will trigger when kids walk by, and maybe even a full-size spider hanging from the roof. Should I keep going? What else would you like to see? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this special Halloween episode of Print and Play. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring it, and thank you to all my Patreon supporters who make these videos possible. That's it for this one, but until next time, stay creative.